Hi guys, welcome to the speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building my ultra modern Savannah dream house. Yes, a house from your dreams with outdoor pools, showers, bars, luxurious bedrooms, bathrooms and so much more. But all in an extremely modern on the edge of futuristic style and set in the African savanna. That African savanna idea was the starting point for this build. I had that idea in my mind for such a long time and I really wanted to do something with it. With a different kind of environment where I never built in before and I thought it would be so much fun to create a look like that with an extremely futuristic house or modern house that could fit in it. So yes, you can see that all in this video here today i'm so happy that you're here so let's just dive right in as you could see in the intro and on the thumbnail of course this house will have a very strange maybe <laughs> shape with a lot of curves it could almost be like a sheet like flapping on the wind flapping fluttering i think that's the correct word on the winds with yeah a lot of curves everywhere and maybe you recognize that style. I did a build in the same style like this. That house was way smaller though. But I did a one in the same style like this months ago. It was called June and maybe you saw that video already. If you haven't, check it out. If you want, I will put a link on your screen right now. But that was in kind of the same style with shapes of the house that could almost be like organic shapes or that the house could almost be like alive or moving. And I really wanted to do something like that again. I used a reference picture during the previous build and I used the same one again and it was a huge inspiration for this build. We show it right now on your screen as you can see, yes, huge inspiration for this build. I love this picture. It just speaks to the imagination. This the picture, I think it's art. I think it's not really made yet. I tried to Google it, do a reverse image search, but I couldn't really find anything about it. So if you know more about it, please let me know in the comments down below and I will pin your comments. But yeah, on I uh, what I could find is that this particular building is not set in the savanna, but in the Middle Eastern regions. I think so, I'm not totally sure though, but the shape and with that square in the middle and I just love the look of it. And like I said, I used the same inspiration picture while I was doing June a couple of months ago. And I just wanted to do something like that again, you know, I've been doing so much fantasy builds lately and I love doing them though, but I did Turtle Island, last one I did, uh, As Asgard, I want to say Asgardian, Asgard, the Norse mythical city, I did a sunken city of Atlantis, a lot of fun, all of these builds, but I just wanted to do a proper house again, a massive house again, with several rooms to decorate with furniture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just really wanted to do that again. It was a while ago that I did it. And I, of course, wanted to take that to the next level or do something totally different with it. So that's how I came to this style. And of course, in the combination with that African savanna thing in the back of my mind. It was so different and interesting to work with a different setting today. Like I said, I never did a build in that setting before, but I will tell you more about it when we are onto the landscaping. So you can see right here the basic shape of the roofs. Yes, they're ready already and I can tell you so much about it, but it basically basically come down to this. Use a lot of roofs and combine them together. Yeah, I know it sounds way more easy than it is, but that is really what it is. It is puzzling around with uh, roofs, manipulating the curves and just just adjust all the heights and different angles very very precise so that everything fits together and just looks like one big cohesive thing 
Of course, color is a very important as well. So I picked this particular roof color. It's just a base game color and I tried some things with white. We have the white color too, but what you can see right here, that look, not right now because I went one level lower, but with the roofs, that look, it's a combination between roofs and decks as well. And I had to use a roof type that had floor tiles as well, a floor color as well. And that was really similar on the floor and on the roofs. That white color where I started with, uh, that where I experimented with, you cannot see it right now. When I used it on the parts, on just on the roofs, not on the roofs, but on the decks. So um, not on the curves. Uh, the color was different. The white was just a little bit off and I wanted to make it look like one big cohesive thing, you know. So I tried different things and this color yeah, was just the best for it. It blends all together and it's not really... I think it's something like gravel. You can see it right here. And now I already switch to something else, but it's just a base game one. And I think it really blends together with what I used on the floors and what I used on the different roofs. It's very important, and I mentioned it already, that when you want to create a look like this, that you have to be very, very precise. You really have to attach all the roofs to each other and to the decks as well on exactly the perfect height because in that way everything looks very fluid when you want to adjust the height of a roof and uh, you just want to adjust it you cannot really work that precise but when you hold the alt key on your keyboard while adjusting that height of a roof you can really work extremely precise so just like in millimeters 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 i don't know if that's a correct word <laughs> <laughs> you can really work in millimeters, yes? I don't know, but you can work very precise in that way. Same for the curves. It's very important that the curves are right too. And if you want to adjust the curve of a roof, you can select the roof and you have these bubbles and when you play around with them, you can change the curve. But after you selected the roof, uh, you hold shift C on your keyboard, you can unlock more of these orbs and with these orbs you can adjust the curve of a roof so you can even do that more precise uh, of course i use the, these two tricks to kind of realize this look but it's so much fun to do and if you want to do something like this i really recommend doing it because yes it is so much fun to do I already started on the landscaping and like I said, I had that Savannah, Serengeti Savannah in particular in the back of my mind. So I wanted to do a lot with grass, with green grass and with some dried grass, a combination between the yellow, brown and the green everywhere. But I didn't want to just keep it like this. I used terrain paint right now, I raised up the ground here and there with the terrain tool to create some of these small hills. I think builds always look way more realistic when you do at least something with the terrain tool and not just keep the terrain flat. It's not that realistic, you know, because of course in real life the ground never really is flat, especially when you're building in a setting like this. Of course, when you're building in a city or something, it's a totally different case, but I just raised up the ground here and there and now I'm placing in a lot of grass I wanted to place it in on all the green spots that you could see all around and later I'm going to do the same thing with more dried out grass and I placed it on all the yellow or brown pieces I made a combination with the rocks here and there and with some trees here and there they're not really savanna trees in the game you know, these typical trees with these spread out leaves everywhere. Unfortunately, they're not really in the game. We have one tree that kind of could go for it. It's one that came with Get Together pack. But it's way too dark green and it's that pack, the particular pack was really a European style pack. 
more classic European style pack. So not for on an African Savannah at all. So it was a bit of a shame. So I tried some different things with combining some trees together and some rocks together to yeah to realize that look here. And like I said, I wanted to combine a lot of these dried out grass with green grass together to create that look. This house is massive already, so I didn't have that much ground to play around with. But of course, in my mind, in my imagination, this entire lot is surrounded with savannah. And not with this concrete driveway at the front and that ocean at the back. <laughs> <laughs> it is in such a strange setting right now, but in my imagination all around this lot is a savannah, of course. The lot that I'm using is a 64 by 64 one and yes, I think my last like 8 builds were on a 64 by 64 lot. I just want to have space and especially for a very luxurious house like this with a very different design. I just needed a space over here. And when I just need space, this one, this particular lot, I think something like Houndskeep. I'm not totally sure if that's the name of the lot, but it is the lot that came with Brindleton Bay, the world that came with cats and dogs. I always build here when I want to have more space. It almost feels like a blank canvas because that ocean at the back, it kind of, it doesn't distract of the build with a big city at the background or something like that. So that's why I picked this particular lot. But like I said, in my imagination, all around this lot is the savannah, of course. I just placed in a lot of windows everywhere because we're almost starting on the interior already. I wanted to keep that exterior with the roofs just as simple as possible. I think that's not really the correct term because it doesn't look simple. But I didn't want to use too much different colors. I didn't want to use too much distracting things. I thought it would be the most pretty i think that's the correct word when i just kept it in that one cohesive color at the exterior but in the interior i will use a lot of different and brighter colors here and there different kind of rocks different kind of furniture with these brighter colors to make the pop a little bit more but I wanted to keep the windows and the colors just on the walls, on the exterior, in this same kind of color scheme. These amazing windows that I use a lot, they're kind of shutters and they're perfect for a build like this in this setting. They came with the Eco Lifestyle Pack and I love them, they're so gorgeous. With the Eco Lifestyle Pack there are a couple of kind of boxed windows. When you turn the camera in a certain angle, they glitch out and they disappear. So that's very annoying. But these ones are amazing. And these just normal windows that I use right here, they came with the, no with Eco Lifestyle as well. There's kind of a same window uh, just with the base game too, but the line all around the window is a little bit more thick. But we're onto the interior already for a couple of minutes and maybe you can see the style already where I'm going for, for the interior for this build. Like I said, I wanted to keep that exterior in that same color scheme, but the interior I wanted to make more bright and more di with different colors, not just only that color scheme. So I will use some different yellow walls here and there, but some blue ones as well. I will use some touches of orange here and there and a lot of these animal prints rocks everywhere. I did Google African interior design and I found a lot of pictures actually on Pinterest and on Google and I kind of dived in that. I wanted to make it extremely modern though. Uh, the pictures that I found had a lot of darker woods as well and I will use some darker woods here and there. But I wanted to make it, of course, match with the entire, entire color scheme on the exterior. But I especially wanted to use a lot of colors everywhere. I wanted to make it look interesting in that way. And I wanted to use some items that could fit in my mind in a very modern 
African interior. I thought it would be a lot of fun. That's I never went to Africa, I'm from the Netherlands, I never even went outside of Europe. So if I made some mistakes here for the interior design and maybe you're from Africa and you think that's not our style at all, <laughs> please let me know because I'm always here to learn of course, but I thought it, yeah, in my mind when I wanted to do something extremely modern and kind of futuristic almost, um, this style of interior was a very, yeah, very fitting. But I, yeah, I wanted to make it modern. I wanted to make it futuristic, kind of. But I wanted to make it cozy as well and a very comfortable house to live in. Um, th there are a lot of rooms everywhere and a lot of stairs everywhere and balconies and things to walk over. So maybe when you're just watching this video, it's looks a little bit difficult to navigate in this house it is fine there's a thought process all behind it maybe you can see the entire layout a little bit better in the cinematic outro that i made or of course you can pull it from the gallery because i will put it there so you can use it in your own game but now we are already on to the outdoor area I made in the middle of that square in the kind of sheath look that I had on the exterior of this build. But in the middle I made it square, I made it two levels high but I made a level in the basement as well. So this is the basement level but it isn't on the ground because you can see it just from above as well. I made a pool on the ground level over here, not on the ground level, on the basement level over here. And I wanted to make this like a luxurious place to lounge and to chill and maybe to throw parties every once in a while. So I wanted to make this bar and some lounge chairs and this pool of course. I used some of the same rocks in the pool that I used on the exterior of this build as well and I combined it with some steam crates to create more a natural pool effect not really a styled pool or something the bar that I made right here I used some of these yeah, wall decorations these kind of roof thingies <laughs> Always when I don't know an English word for something, I call it a thing. So yet again, these things with straw, <laughs> they came with the island living pack. And I used some of these bars and they came with a bowling stuff pack. And I, yeah, you have that very small light thing on it. And when you really take a good look at it, you can see that it has something to do with bowling. But you really have to take a good look, of it, look at it. it. It isn't that obvious. And just the whole color thing with the woods and with the black, I thought it was so fitting for the entire style I went for for this interior. Over here is one of the bedrooms. Of course, there will be more bedrooms, but over here, just one. I used this particular bed that came with the island living pack. And the island living pack I actually used a lot in this entire build. I wanted to use a lot of items with yeah, wood in them and the lights that I used. I used a lot of these hanging lights are from that particular pack as well. I just thought it was a perfect yeah, combination with the style that I wanted to go for. The bathroom items that I use. There will be another bigger bathroom in this house, uh, but I will use kind of the same items over there as well. I didn't cut it out of the video though, because that bathroom is bigger. So you can see it later on. But the items that I used, yeah, with the black and with the yellow and with the gray, I never used them before. Yeah, I used the items, but in different swatches. But especially with the yellow, and it's a black color, the kind of contrast with the white and softer colors on the exterior and on the floors. I thought it was yeah, kind of cool to use here. There um, are items that came, the bathtub and the wash tub and the toilets. They came with the Eco Lifestyle pack. And yeah, really, the pack was amazing. So many gorgeous items with the pack. And yeah, with that pack came gorgeous sets for your bathroom as well. And normally I always use just more the plain colors, more the gray colors and the softer colors. 
But now, because I wanted to make this interior more interesting, I thought it would be a lot of fun to use that black with yellow color scheme for the items there. Oh, here's the kitchen. And yes, it's an outdoor kitchen. I thought it was very fitting for a build like this. I made this huge kitchen island with these two stoves in them. But I wanted to incorporate a grill within this same kitchen as well. So we can just barbecue over here too. I used that soft color scheme over here because this particular kitchen is, yeah, it is an outdoor kitchen. So it's kind of on the exterior. And when I placed in some very different colored items, just the contrast was too big. We took a look from, at the build from afar, it just looked a little bit strange. So that's why I used that same color scheme over there. We're already on a totally different area, but the bar stools that I used in the kitchen, they came with a bowling stuff pack as well. So strange that I could use that particular pack in this build here and there, but like I said, I wanted to go for some accent colors here and there and, and in a combination with wood. And these bar stools just had that, that wood combination with a more yeah, kind of taupe color. So I thought it would be very fitting for this build to use. I wanted to give your sim a lot of things to do in this build, where you want to use this build in your game. So I made a kind of a smaller office over here as well. The same color scheme yet again, that animal print rock and I used some of the ceiling fans here and there as well. I thought, yeah, very fitting for this build, of course. And these animal print rocks, I think I already said it. But yet again, a couple of items from that island living pack. Yes, if you want to recreate a build like this in this kind of style, I think the island living pack was the most important one for yeah, this particular build. Of course, a jacuzzi. There has to be a jacuzzi in an extremely luxurious house as well. And oh, that plant that I just placed in, that hanging one. It came with that paranormal pack, that new pack. Our new pack, it's not particularly new anymore, but it's the latest pack that we got. And just for that pack, <laughs> that paranormal pack is a stuff pack. So it is like $10 and just for that pack, I wanted to buy just for that, that that hanging plant is what I wanted to say. I wanted to buy that pack. I am I'm going to use it in all my builds, I think. I think it's such a gorgeous accent or de decor item. And you just have to use it over here as well. We're onto that other bathroom I was just talking about. And yes, I went for that same color scheme, but with uh, some stones on the wall, on the floor here. I used this waterfall item on the wall and I used it on the out in the outdoor showers as well. I think it came with spa day. But well, it combine, uh, combines very well with a shower and especially with a shower. This particular one came with snow escape pack. But you have a shower that came with Discover University pack as well. Just more like a standalone shower that you can really use for uh, custom made showers and when you combine that waterfall with the shower together it is still functional and it just looks so cool with the waterfall at the back i just love it but i think we're almost at the end of this video already why did it went so fast no it's 24 minutes well for me it went very fast i hope for you too <laughs> I really hope you like this video too though. We're onto the last uh, bedroom over here and yeah, we're into the cinematic outro already. Oh man, like I said, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you would make me extremely happy if you did. I try to do a lot of different things, styles, ideas with my builds. I Hope to inspire you a little bit in a way for your own build. So if you like that, please consider to subscribe. I will be back very soon. I really hope to talk to you then yeah, with my next video. Enjoy the cinematic outro. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.